Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a highlight or spotlight effect for your image uh, using Filmora 10. So I saw this question uh, in Filmora user group on Facebook and yeah, maybe I think it's uh, very difficult for me to explain by uh, in words. Uh, so I decided to make a, a tutorial video. Um, to show her how to to do this uh, right inside Filmora 10, and I, I think um, maybe it is interesting for you. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this example first. All right, so uh, let's go to Filmora 10. So I'm going to show you just a step by step tutorial. Uh, and here is uh, my computer screen and uh, this is the example project so I'm going to open it okay it's just double uh, double click on it to open here is the timeline so as you can see here we have uh, some layers uh, of my image so the image I'm going to use in this tutorial is just a map I go to Google map and then take a screenshot uh, for your information I use Nugget to take a screenshot um, on my computer and I think it is a great uh, screen capture software for, uh, for you to uh, take screenshot and uh, to be honest I, I can also use it uh, image editor uh, to highlight different parts on the image easily by the way if you want to create uh, create that that kind of effect in Filmora 10 and uh, we can do it uh, right here okay so let's open all the track here so at the first part, I have an image here, and then uh, at this part, I have also the different uh, image here. So this image are the same, are the same with the uh, the bottom one, and we have some uh, image mask inside, and we have a border effect here to create this uh, red line here, and also the uh, some call out to show different location. So th this is the location A, for example, it is restricted area. And this is the location B, it is also a, a restricted area. So this kind of effect is very useful when you make travel video or maybe some educational video, you know, like showing different area that uh, you want to restrict uh, other people, okay? Uh, let's delete everything on the timeline first. Uh, let's delete it, uh, select everything. So this is the image, just a map. So it is very simple. So you can use any image or maybe you can use video. It is the same, okay? So let's try and drop this image on the timeline. And this is a five second. So let's make it uh, 10 second. I'm going to change the duration to 10 second. Just a short, uh, short uh, example, okay? I'm going to click okay. Uh, so at the first part, for example, at this position, I don't want to have any highlight and the, the highlight will start from here so let's play for example here and at this position at three seconds okay so the first thing we need to do is to split the, this image at this point and the next thing we can copy this one just right click on it and then we select copy and we can lock this track and press ctrl v to paste the image exactly uh, at the same position and we can do the same here we could go back to this position and also lock this track and then press ctrl v all right so uh, now we have three pieces of image here on the timeline so the next thing we want to do is to add an image mask to this image and this image also i will add a border for this one okay so we are going to lock this one and maybe we, we can hide it okay so now i'm going to the effect tab here uh, and let's uh, go to the utility folder here because well, we have the image mask and the border so we are going to use uh, two, e two effects here uh, the first one let's drag, uh, drag and drop the image mask directly to the image here okay now we need to customize the, the mask and uh, move it to this area okay to do that we're going to double click on the image here and go to the video effect here uh, select this button now we can change the the, ma uh, the image size here i'm going to use this one by the way you can use any 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 image mask here i'm going to double click on this to apply and you cannot see on the preview window because well, we still have the bottom layer here so by the way you can just hide the bottom layer and you will see the map uh, the mask better okay so this is the this is the image mask so we're going to 
scroll down here and now we need to adjust the height and and width and also uh, adjust the position of the, uh, the image mask so firstly with the, the width I want to make it uh, very small like this a square rectangle uh, a, a square shape like this and also the high the high I want to make it like this uh, now I'm going to move it to this position just for example okay and move uh, to this location okay so I think this location is fine and if you want to see the map and uh, to see the, the the whole map you can turn on this one uh, turn on this uh, this map and also you you need to reduce the, the opacity of the top layer here so to do that we can unlock it and double click here go to compositing and then uh, reduce the opacity of this one uh, by doing this we can see that the map better uh, and later we will read uh, we will recover the opacity of this one okay so now we have this uh, location I think it's okay and the next the next effect I want to add is the the border right and I'm go back to here and then I, I'm going to lock this one and I'm going to drag and drop this border directly to this image on the timeline so we have a border here but the color is a uh, white now we need to change the, the change the the color okay just double click on the image and go to the video effect again and we can scroll it down here and we see the this is the video effect and we can have it the border here so this is the border uh, we can change it to red uh, like what you see at the beginning of this tutorial okay this is red and we can also select the, the second color to red and now we can uh, in, uh, reduce the size to 2 and enter uh, that's nice so this one look nice by the way it is, it is up to you so you can uh, adjust the border and the size and blow stuff like that okay uh, for example we can uh, hide this one and now we have this uh, this border okay so the nice thing we can do with the, the, this image uh, this one is finished and the next image well we can copy the effect uh, from this one and paste it to this one okay so just uh, right click on this image and copy effect and now we can lock this track and open this one and now we can just uh, uh, right click and paste the effect okay so we have the, the same uh, the, the same image mass and border here at, at right this position uh, but now we need to move it to here to do that all we need to do is to uh, double click on this image and then uh, we are going to find the image image mask and uh, we need to adjust the position we want to move it to this position no not that and I want to move it to this corner okay and now if, if you want to see the whole image or, or the whole map uh, we can turn on this one uh, because if we turn on this one then we can just uh, adjust the, the location of this uh, this effect easier okay and we can just move it down here to this position uh, at this position all right so I think it's uh, it is nice so that's uh, we have to to effect here this one and this location and the next thing we want to do is to uh, we can uh, restore the the, uh, the opacity of the, these two images and then we can reduce the opacity of this one okay so uh, we can double click on this one and go to transform again and here we have the compositing and we can increase the opacity to 100 percent and for this one we need to double check this one also so it is uh, also 100 percent and finally we need to adjust the, the opacity of this one okay so we are going to unlock it and now we are going to double click on this one uh, on the, the Im image at the bottom and then we can uh, reduce the opacity to create a special effect uh, I think it's like this uh, this will be okay okay so now I'm going to render the timeline and uh, play the effect first okay and here's the, the first the first look at the effect okay let's play it very nice right 
And now we need to add some uh, call out text uh, here for this one, this location, and this location. Uh, to do that, all we need to do is lock this one, uh, lock all of them first, and then go to here at the beginning and go to title. In Fimura 10, we have many call out, so uh, we can go to this call out again. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use this one, the call out number one. So just drag and drop it uh, here at the top track. Okay. And now we need to modify the call out like size and position and also change the phone size or stuff like that. Uh, we can double click here on, on the title here. And then for example, this one, I want to change it to location A and the text is too big i think so i'm going to resize it to 36 and this one i want to have it the text restricted Okay, so I think that the, this text is uh, fine for me. So the next thing I want to uh, copy this uh, call out and I'm going to paste it here. So to do that, we can uh, simply press copy and then we can uh, just uh, lock this track again and then we can press Control V to, to paste it. And now we can move move this one, the, the whole thing to this area. So we can select it or here and then we can move it uh, right here. Okay. And the next thing we want to flip to flip the call out. So I'm going to click on the right side and then I'm going to move it to the left side to flip the the video. Okay, and then move it to here at this at this area. And now we need to move the text to this area also. Okay, so we are going to change this one to location B, right? Uh, we have A and B and, and also this one is a restricted area and we can put it here. Alright, so this is the final result. So it is easy, right? Uh, by the way, it, take, it, it takes some time to uh, modify the text and the position here. By the way, you don't need to do the same like me. You can just uh, to know how, how to create this effect. And here's the final result. I can play it. Very nice, right? So that is uh, technically how you can uh, create a special highlight effect for your image or using a map uh, or stuff like that in Filmora 10. I hope this tutorial will help you make better video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorial about Filmora 10. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.